Right, hello everybody. Having the same team value. Holy shit. Welcome to game number six of um, Brainless Chaos. Oh, wow, he's got the Mino. He's got two bulls, but no um, no no break tackle or block. Only a couple of guard. So, could be interesting. Three wins and a loss, two rerolls. I guess he could he could dice us with a Mino. That's always the danger with a Mino, isn't it? Got um. Got some nice block and some strength. And a mighty blow guy to try to get lucky. Right. And unfortunately... Well, not even unfortunately. I kind of got lucky. I guess I got lucky to get my touchdown in that game. But um, had the chance of winning it, didn't I? But I, but I probably did a bit, a bit of a mad play with that switch. The switch player there at the end of that match. Maybe I should have just tried to sideline cage it as much as possible. Maybe I should have gone for a fireball and then sideline cage. Um, yeah, the minor does need to do work for him, true. But if it does, it can be absolutely dominating, can't it? So I'm never that happy to see a minor because they, they can dominate the match and give people a chance that they normally maybe wouldn't have had. Right, I'm going to turn my face off here and uh, just carry on. Now, I want to buy a 12th man, to be honest. So that's why I'm not buying anything. Um, I guess I could have bought... I guess I could have bought a um, an apple, but I want to buy a 12th man. I'll receive, and I guess if I draw, I draw. So he's got twelve. So that, that's I mean that's good in a way, and he's got he's got loads of TV in one play and stuff. Um, what happened VIP buy case with UK BBL was. Um, I thought I was going to play it now, but then was told I was playing on Sunday. Um, BLGF. I was informed that I was actually just being a fool. And um, I'm playing it later. Right. No journey in this game. Madness. Strength four ball carry is pretty good against bulls, isn't it? The threat of a bull is not so much. I want to blitz over here, don't I? Blitz this one. He's not only is he the better one, he's also away from the fucking mino. My guy's a little bit, um, what's he called? Mighty Blow guy's a little bit, um, fucking exposed if he gets a blitz, but I got I got a hit the ball, haven't I? Got him. Touchback's good. If the ball lands here or here, it's horrible. Hey. Oh, yeah. The fuck over here, you little bastard. Right.
three D is always good. Yeah. Is this good enough? Maybe go there. Maybe that's better. Oh, I could just go move this guy. Shit. Oh, he got the AV break anyway. AV break. Knocked it on. I guess he could go out of here if I'm not bothered about him running around. But I don't think it's that bad. One, two, three, four, blitz him. One, two, three, four, five, six, GF idea. He's got to make a dodge and two GFIs to base, so I think more strength on the line is fine, isn't it? Yeah, it's very true, Morales could do, yeah. No decision maker around. <laughs> yes, hello. Hello, Ducky. Yeah, brainless lizards. I mean, I picked them. I picked them. I just thought it was there was a decent chance of a... Um, there was a decent chance of a fucking upset, wasn't there? And I mean... Maybe if he had uh, hadn't rolled a double skulls with his uh, strength five there, you know, or if he did, if he just dodged away with a ball carrier instead. Thank you for the follow, Svaho Devil. Um, but you know, he, he got the right, didn't he? To give him a good shot. But even without the right, if he'd gone overtime, he would have had a chance, wouldn't he? He's huge. <laughs> the MVP was uh, was a well deserved one for um, for Silly Billy. If he break, <laughs> that's amazing. That's amazing, Bizzle. Holy shit! No one knows more about Cruxicos than I do. <laughs> Oh, great. How do I get the block in there? And he can block and he can block. Why, why have him at the back? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Strength men's should be at the front of the cage. Do this first, so if it's a one in nine, I can just accept it. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good at rolling one in nines. Maybe I couldn't just accept it, actually. Oh shit, maybe I couldn't have just accepted it, but I did. What's this mile? I don't know. I can...
Yeah, I think he definitely had to make the GFI in that. <laughs> yeah, VIP back. <laughs> you know, things are, to be fair, made, made, a, made a couple of armor breaks already. Well, one armor break. Oh, I've made two armor breaks because I got this one, then this one. But, um... Yeah, look. Played, played two turns, not down a player, so... Let's be thankful for that. <laughs> yeah, it's just all of my teams. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking chaos. Five, six, six journeyman chaos. Holy shit. Dice on the ball. Oh well. Might cost him. Yeah, I realised that maybe I should have re-rolled that one in nine after the fact. Dirty dingo. It is tough, like, isn't it, against movement nine, effectively strength four guys. Do I just be greedy here and go for the mighty blow hit? Silly question. Oh, I can stand him up, do that block, do that block. This lad will block this lad. So what I should have done was I should have moved these guys first, shouldn't I? So that I could have moved the uh, mighty blow back into this cage. I like that he's not using his mind. Oh, his mind was a hobgoblin at the moment. Mm -hmm. This is even less relevant than the other one. Much less relevant. But I just think now it's like it's getting to the point where... He's going to collapse in on the cage, so I think I've got to use it this turn. Just run out of time. Try to use it. Fuck. <laughs> the utter soul mine. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I thought it was getting the point where that one in nine followed by that one in nine was going to add up to too many things. It is only turn three, but it's already slipping away, isn't it? Two one in nines in <laughs> out of how many blocks? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or something. Oh, God, the 15 seconds is so bad. No, I think individual turn times is essentially spilled. What my, my my I think I've got the better one. I think my one is the best, right? Two minutes per turn, which is then sixteen turns, thirty-two minutes, and then six minutes of um no yeah, four minutes per half, that's loads. Um I wouldn't have it per half, but, f but two minutes per turn and then yeah, but there's animations and everything to add on as well, though, scroll dude, don't forget. VIP scroll dude. My thing would be two minutes per turn, and then a time bank of six minutes. And that time bank is the same time bank 
as the disconnection time bank thing. So, also, someone could just AFK in a 40 minute chunk just to fucking kill you. And, like, how would that happen? Then all of their other turns would end. Like, it would be weird. I don't know. I guess the good thing is that he's got to accept this one in nine or be left with zero reloads. Good. Block doing a thing. Haha, -ha, I've got block and you don't. I'd really like to blitz this guy with mighty block. Can I do that? If I get this knockdown, I can. But then on the other hand, I guess I want to move forward, don't I? Oh my god, a death. Oh my god, a death. Oh, I hate those fucking 15 second things. Is that what worked? Turn 4. Running back to hit a hook goblin seems like bad. When standing a beastman up, nah. I would let him blitz to free him, which isn't so bad. Could blitz him, but then can't get ahead, can I? I'd like to get ahead. Somehow get ahead. Could base him with a ma with a warrior. Got to reroll this one in nine right now. A one in nine. Get banged on armor break. <gasps> Holy shit. Right, he can even basing him seems all right. Base around, base around the dead dwarf. And should I stand him up? Definitely don't want to dodge him away. Just leave him there. And he, he's all right. He's controlling some space, isn't he? <laughs> the apple cutie ball is <laughs> he's counterproductive, yeah. Yeah, I really don't like the Mighty Blow. I, w I would rather have had a Mighty Blow Warrior, but, you know, it is what it is. That would have been a KO on a Hobgoblin. Yeah, true, but I wouldn't have been anywhere, would I? I think it was better for winning the game. I think it was better for, like, moving forward. Because now he's got to put all these... He's got to put, like, four and three to even do anything over here and stuff. Mine not biding his time. Yeah, he just stood there, isn't he? He's got jugs as well. He just stood there. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good find VIP bleeding at least. <laughs> you might use him this time. Yeah, just try to move. <laughs> Maybe that's the idea, yeah, Carl. <laughs> You'll burst into action. Still no sub button for Fash. GFIs, come on, fail one.
worthwhile GFIs, yeah. Some random GFIs to do basically nothing. Gaping hole in the middle now. Um, I guess I just go like this, and then that'll encourage me to re-roll the both down. Or a push. I guess I just have to stay there. Wish I'd got the power, but never mind. Got another armor break! Chaos Dwarf's armor is paper, holy shit. Guess the GFI, so even if he minus two days over there, he can't get it. He's just gonna mine or blitz this guy now, isn't he? Get in the cage, but then he gets fucking blocked on my blow back. <laughs> Minos considering his life choices. That's true. Well, to be fair, Carlo Ancelotti, to be fair, Carlo Ancelotti, that's what a tree is like to me, you know? You put that, stick that tree there, and he's just, he's like Deion Sanders, isn't he? Block a mighty, he'll get a block or a mighty blow black. Black, back. If this mine or blitz is in the cage, then he's going to take either a mighty blow or a block blitz, depending on how crushed it would be to knock him over. He would get either a block blitz or a mighty blow blitz on his minotaur if he tries to go into the cage. That's what I was trying to say. But it's not easy for me to talk so good. Yeah, of course he's going for this blitz. Might get my he might get block blitzed away. Oh, and then mighty blow for the bull. Okay, first thing, it's not a three die, but it's gotta happen. I could just chain him away. One, two. Oh, not now that I moved him there. Fuck. He could go there. Looking pretty grim, actually, now, isn't it? Nothing good's happening. Okay, that was pretty good. Right, 
Where does, where does the ball go? Just here. That's good enough. And he can go up there. And there's a screen there. Hard for anyone to come round. This block's great, isn't it? If it's a, even a push. Even better. But even on a push, he would have been basing... You know, two guys. That's perfect. I guess I don't want to make either of these in case they go wrong. Though this going right would be so amazing. I've got a reroll for it. So I guess I might as well go for it. It's only punished one time in 36. All right. <gasps> I pushed him closer. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI, GFI. No, thank God for that. Holy shit. That would have been really dumb if that had failed. Um, this guy can't base. So a dodge. Might be a good idea. No, because then he could go one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, G. Oh, so I have pushed him into range. Yeah, I have pushed him into range. That was clever, wasn't it? Ah, oh, but he couldn't blitz because he'd have to. Oh, he'd have to dodge. But he could easy dodge. He could easy block and then dodge away. I block him, it would be a 1 in 9 to fail. But then it would absolutely shut down the coming back. Fuck, I guess I'll leave it on. Like, eight times out of nine, the block was good, wasn't it? And he makes his one dice and a two plus anyway, so I probably should have made that. Got to, got to keep players on the pitch. I probably should have made that block. Probably should have made that block, though. See, that's the, that's the thing, you know, like, Fash is like, every one dice, every one D should be blow skulls. But if I let him one dice here, on a 2+, plus, he's not there anymore. Either, obviously, not really both down. But a 3+, plus, he's not there anymore. So four times out of six, he clears him. Whereas, if I make the block, he's only cleared one time out of nine, isn't he? So I reckon I should have made that block. Oh, fuck off. Hello, combat bunny. <laughs> so I'm playing Monopoly. There's more in the bluff. Fash is funny, isn't he? Just streaming, looking at... <laughs> looking at Google, Google Maps. <laughs> oh, man. Just Fash by the things. Oh, that frees up the hobgoblin. But now, now I'm screened from the bull blitz. Oh, that was a minor blitz. Okay. Not oh, to get the plus one strength. Or not. Don't know, just for fun, maybe. Hey, let's go. Right. So now, turn seven. First things first. He should base him, I guess. Safe moves first. Unbelievable. I only want to block him so I can blitz the hobgoblin. That seems fair. So three, four, five, six. I wouldn't need an extra guy on him. So might as well be the warrior. And I guess there's gonna have to block here. 
Fucking dirty dingo. God. Fucking mino, really. So I gotta just blitz this shit out now. Didn't get the hit of Hobgob. Feels bad, man. I think it's definitely worth it now to base the air. Uh, with the additional payoff of basing the down scent of. Not that he can probably make any difference to the play, but. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Oh, the Fashbinder. Thank you for the host, Fashbinder. And I, um. I definitely appreciated your um, commentary earlier. Uh, your co commentary on the. Uh, Ducky match, it was very insightful. Because Bizzle, I wanted to um I wanted to blitz with Mighty Blow. <laughs> it's literally it. Literally the only reason that I that I didn't was because I wanted to blitz with Mighty Blow. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, like a boss. 4,200. Oh, I might even look at hit back though. Shit. Nah, there was all tackle zones there um, as well. Ducky, Team Fashtastic still, still got every prediction right. Um, though Fash thought it would have been... Fash thought it would be an easy game for Ducky. I thought it would be a tough game. And... Um, I think it was decently tough, but he got he got some pretty nice dice, didn't he? When it counted. Right, can I make this 3D? Should be able to. First of all, 3, 6, yeah. Obvious dice, I guess. Well, that wasn't quite as bullshitty as the other as the other touchdowns this team has scored. Didn't even need a reroll. I accepted those two one in, one in nines, which stood my players and didn't use a reroll the entire half. Isn't that crazy? I guess I don't even take well, one in twelve nine six. What's the chance of causing a Kaz on an armor nine guy? Let's have a look. I've got 2 minutes 30 for my turn, so I might as well have a look at the old Samba. Right. Two die. And then an arm break with armor 9. And a Kaz. There is a 1.5% chance of a Kaz, is that right? There's a 1 in 36, isn't there, of, yeah, of Kaz in. 1 in 6 to break his armour. So 1 in 36, yeah. And the chance of the knockdown is about 55%. So you're about talking about a 1 in 70-ish. Yeah. One in seventy-ish chance of a Kaz, or for a one in twelve nine six. So I'll get a Kaz ten, fifteen, about eighteen times for each each touchdown that I miss. Twelve nine six to get a turnover, isn't it? 
twelve nine six to get the turnover. So one in seventy. Oh yeah, the turnover is yeah, the turnover is twelve nine six. So you get to make about fifteen cars or something. And then the care it. Hmm. Ooh, it's interesting, isn't it? It's worth thinking about. Yeah, I guess it's not worth it. I mean, I wouldn't do it if it was the World Cup final or anything, you know. But um, it's worth thinking about in random matches. You will get 15 cars or more for every touchdown that you don't score. That's true, Bizzle, that's true. That's true. I should really save this setup, shouldn't I? Like, so ultimately, that's the thing, isn't it? Is it worth 15 casualties for one failed touchdown? Maybe not. Right, three will be the... Oh, I've lost... Oh, no, I haven't lost it. Okay, there, defensive setup three. For when it's at the end. <laughs> Mino looks like he's done with philosophy. <laughs> oh, man. He did make a Kaz, though, didn't he? No, it wasn't. It was just a random... It was a random uh, chalf blocker. Random chalf blocker got the Kaz. <laughs> yeah, John flips it. Yeah. yeah, just injuries, foot KOs. Well, it wasn't purely for SPP. It was, it was to get the. Um, it was to be a man up as well, wasn't it? I mean, oh, well, not a man up, but a. Uh, oh no, heat. Oh no. No, no. There's what the dice would have been anyway. An armor break for no injury. Oh, heat. To be fair, I would have still received if I knew heat was coming, so at least I get one touchdown. And if it's a draw, it's not the end of the world, even though I won't be happy. Wouldn't be happy with the draw, but if, it, if that's what it is, it is what it is, isn't it? He's got a 12. Yeah, he's got 12. So chances are he's going to have the advantage. Oh! <laughs> Alright, but still. 
it's still, I think, worse for him. Okay, it's probably worse for me. I shouldn't have looked at his first, should I? I got all excited, then looked at mine. Oh, God. I got banged on, too. But, I mean, at least I'm not down... Oh, no, I'm down one warrior. Oh, so it's worse for me, actually. No, it's, abso it's absolutely worse for me. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Garda hurts like hell for him, but it's a block warrior for me. So and it, and I, it's eight for me and nine for him. So I'd rather have eleven versus eleven. <laughs> But I guess if I'd looked at mine first, I would have been like, fuck off. And then saw on his and oh, it's not so bad. So I guess I'm only feeling bad because I saw his first. <laughs> if I'd seen my first, I'd be very, very relieved right now. Just got to rely on best for goal. Yeah, they've got all the agility three. Oh, I'd, I'd much prefer it not to be heat. So, oh, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it, for the burrito? Yeah, but El Mato, two beastmen on a Chaos Warrior. So, my players are worth more than his. 220 off instead of 210, and he's got a reserve, so. Ah, yeah, that's a good point, Combat Bunny. That's a very good comp. That's a very, very good point. It does so you're showing your soccer player, though, instead of leveling them, and we've all done that now. Do I just blitz him? No, I can't blitz him with him. Blitz him. Yeah, I think it was... Oh god, I'm caps lock. Right, um... Right, I'd, I'd like to... Blitz, I could blitz him though, couldn't I? Could blitz him and get him through. GFI twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI twice from him? Oh God, that's what I want to do. Fuck. 
Not anymore. Just for the team names though, isn't it? John Flip Zero, it would remake it with the same team. I guess it would just remember. I don't know how it would remember. Just keep the names. Three dice for the moment. Yeah, that is a good point. I just like the usual no riot, no pitch invasion, just for less chance of getting fucked by dice in it. Right, gotta try to get somebody through. Gotta get a knockdown here. Oh, fucking hell, man. Oh, and I'm pushing the wrong square because I clicked too fast. Thanks, Cyanide, you fucking goober. Right, let's get him on there. Just wish it had, wish I'd moved best fago forward now. Bang on. Get banged on. Failed to pick up again. <laughs> oh god, pretty funny. Right. So the question is whether to go for the three plus. Like I'd like him to do the pickup, which means. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. That just seems shit, doesn't it? Because I can just base him. And then go for the dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could base him here and go for the dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And then like a GFI pickup maybe or something. Mm, don't know. I wish I wish wish I'd run this guy down now. I could have just I could have just hit him and and picked it up. I guess I want to make this block first. Oh, great. Good job. I didn't go for a one dice box. So now. <laughs> this changes this particular move to a two dice blitz. Okay, I really want to make that 2D, that's why I wanted to do that. My ball, dickhead. No. Shot it. Yeah, to be fair, he's only filled four. <laughs> Pretty unlikely, though, isn't it? Didn't get the knockdown. And he's used a square of movement. He's got to make the pick up now. <laughs> oh, man, out of rerolls. He has to reroll it. Finally made it. That was pretty funny, wasn't it? He's like, fuck it, all three. Don't care if I use sure feet. Not even punished. Not even punished. Thank God no armor break. Super Bowl's coming straight at you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, it'd have to be GFI. Shit. Ah, well, he thinks he stopped it. He thinks he stopped that assist, but he wasn't thinking about Super Bowl, was he? Super Bowl. Super Goat. Wow, look at him. Base two of them, and they just both fucking dodge away. Dirty dingoes. <laughs> Should have made this one dice even without a reroll because he's just giving up the ball, isn't he? I guess it's still a GFI, but then another GFI, so yeah, block here. No way. Oh shit, I'm out of rerolls. Alright, good. How did I. When did I use all my rerolls? I don't even remember using them. Oh well. In a good spot though. Poor old mighty blow guys getting banged on this game. 
Wrestle on dancers. Yeah, it's not that bad. But the only thing is, like, strip's just so good. Tackle's so good. Like, you can't not have strip and tackle and sidestep. So I wouldn't say early on, no. To be honest. Oh, yeah, the double skulls. Yeah, I remember using the first one on the first... The first action. Now he's going for the double mark. Dirty dingo. So I can't, I can't do anything crazy, can I? Have to block him, which gets him up to block him. I Means if it's a pow, I've still got to make a dodge, haven't I? So I might as well blitz with block. Right. So the question is, do I make the dodge or not? He can one dice the ball, which gets it on a five or a six. If I dodge and fail, let's assume I dodge and fail, he can blitz him off and then he can like just mark it. Like, so it's basically the same. He, he's gonna he's gonna stand up one dice or move him, block him, get him there, one dice it, and then try the dodge away. I think I might as well just go for the score, just because I won two. Because then, well, if I'm two nil up, I've won. If he blocks me and gets a push, he's still base to base. I'd still have to two dice him or something. He'd still dodge him away. He'd still base him. Things could happen. All the careful deliberation on bringing this chaos. Yeah, it's funny. Enough. Those faggots are OP. It's true. Well, at least he gets these three back now, though, with Alvin or all. So this is interesting. Oh shit, he's got none off. None off? Ah! A fair game. Unbelievable, Jeff. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. I mean, I say a fair game. He did get. He did get banged on by the, by the dice with the pickups. You know. To be fair. Full sent or dice pickups were on point for me. Protect the two nine point guys. It's gone. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no one, no one was out of the heat. It's amazing. That, oh, there's no heat. Oh, fucking hell. That's pretty funny, isn't it? That was pretty funny. 
Fucking hell. That was that was that was good, wasn't it? He not tearing anybody out. It was pretty crazy. You don't see that every day. <laughs> yeah, it's the sun's in front of the clouds, isn't it? Oh no, I guess yeah, it looks like it is kind of behind them a little bit. All oh, right, I see. Yeah, you can see the outline of them. To me, it looked like the sun's in front of the clouds, which is obviously ridiculous. Yeah, dodge. Dodge is amazing. I know, right? 11 men. That's crazy. It's the craziest thing ever. Having 11 men. And look, to be fair, it's not that crazy when you've got low. It is pretty crazy when you've got defenseless armor eight guys. They're getting knocked down 75% of the time, aren't they? So it's Dead beast man. I guess that was the weakness of the scoring play. Gives him more blocks with minos. Maybe I shouldn't have scored. A 1 0 win without a player dying is better than a 2 0 win, isn't it? Oh god. <laughs> He's, it's happening again. So he hits him because he gets the guard. And then he goes into here. <laughs> Fuck you! Yes! Yes! Get banged on. Yes. And when I say fuck you. Fuck off, you cocksucker! I mean. Jesus mad cow disease. Christ. Mad cow disease. The player. The player, mad cow disease. That's who I meant. Not the coach Zymotic. Yes. <sighs> so he, he bl instead blitzes with a rookie. And kills another beast man.
shot shit get banged. There you go anyway, whoever it was, Vayava was it, I've got 11 men, there you go, back to the normal, back to the usual, two kills. Two kills and two turns, pretty, pretty standard, pretty standard stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't have scored I guess. Thank you for the follow, man. Hey! A death. <laughs> Get banged on. <laughs> What a savage last couple of turns. Now you're going to get with a block to foul. Get banged on fluffy burrito. There you go. Yeah, just concede turn one. Um, put put start recording it, um, and then say this is the worst possible matchup. I've beaten this guy three times before. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Do a casual stretch and then concede. Yeah, the disease then should be really no good, shouldn't they? But there you go. Oh, mm, God. Oh, well, not dead. Unfucking believable. GG. Shame you fucking ruined my team at the end. <sighs> I can't afford to make if this is a GFI, I can't. I could blitz him though. Not my guy. Alright, gotta go for a foul. He's still gonna be higher than like most dwarves when he's like that, isn't he? He's about the same height as the hobgoblin. Tall than the hobgoblin, same height as the beast man. Holy shit. I did, didn't I, Pivius? I did. 
Not only, not only though. No, he started with the minor. He started with the minor. He made the minor blitz, which got a kill. So I was like, I don't any more kills. So I follow the minor, cast him, and then you just started casting me with the normal people. All right. <sighs> Great. Well, I guess I'll buy one with a random name. <laughs> Me, Fagos. That's a good name, isn't it? <laughs> that was easy. GG. Kicked him in the butt. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right, so 10 players then. Um, instead of 12. I was going to go up to 12 players as well. <laughs> yeah, one SPP shot a claw mighty blow. That'll be nice, won't it? And... Um, He's an MVP away. Yeah, it could, but all I would see the thing is Miraz could do. Um, what I like to have is I like to have money in the bank for um, cheating. <laughs> I do like to cheat. I like to cheat. Um, so, yeah. At the moment, I'd rather have a I'd rather have a journeyman and, and then have that journeyman mark my nose and stuff. So th by keeping the money in, there's um there's the chance to cheat, and also the chance to have a loner, use the loner to um, mark big guys and what have you. <laughs> Shit, come to go. <laughs> um. Yeah, I have done the Viper, but I'm not replacing at the moment, right? I'm not replacing, so it's okay. It's better to keep the money now and and replace. Like, there's no, there's no need, is there? There's no need to buy them now. Buying them now, I'm less likely to have to buy to replace if I don't replace now. You know what I mean? If I replace now, and he dies next game, I've just thrown away 60k. So I like to keep the loaner, put the loan in the most dis. Like there was two games in a row where. My loner died, my journeyman died two games in a row because I was just like marking the Yeti with him and then like marking him or making him the guy who gets blitzed. So, um, but the downside is only a loner, then I can buy him. Then I can buy him in Aryan. Then I buy him. So, so I can either buy him or if he dies, then I've saved 60k. So, Oh god playing Quim, yeah. <laughs> Ars Fagot. Yeah, if I cheat inducements, but it it's I want the option to cheat inducements. So it's it is what it is. There's the chance of cheating inducements and the chance of keeping it. Keep your options open, exactly. Exactly the XR ninety nine. It's keeping your options open. I had it for two for two games in a row. The loaner died, and that would have been 120k. I'd be on 30k if I'd bought them the first chance I could have done. So you know, loaner skinks are shit as fuck. I think loaner skinks are amazing. The only bad thing about them is that they're like you know if they're replacing a Saurus, they're awful. Um, but I think I think journeyman skinks are amazing because they've got they've got the reroll for dodge anyway. That's all they do. Beast men, you want to block sometimes with them, don't you? But anyway, good record yet again. Um, oh, yeah, I'd, I'd replace a warrior in a second. Yeah. Yeah. And that's another good reason, you know. If I if I buy if I buy one of these guys, if I buy a beast man, and then a warrior dies, then I've only got 90k. Like, sure, I'd have some money, but then I'd be down to nothing, you know. So. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Force him 1782. Go to, a, go to 12, I'll stay at 10. Exactly. If nobody had died that game... Then um, I would have got. And I mean, I, bought, I just bought one guy, didn't I? So I've only got one journeyman. I, I think two journeymen would be a bit, a bit um, thing, a bit shit. But there you go. Anyway, right. Let's put this on. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.